Cause I can into things that I'm gon' do Wow, wow, wow Wow, 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 thoughts Wow, wow, wow When I with you, all I get is wild thoughts Wow, wow, wow When I with you, all I get is wild thoughts Let's go! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Me is me. I can't see. Hold up. <laughs> Folks always want to step me when I'm recording. Welcome back to my channel, me is Maine. Today I am here with a, another hair tutorial on how I flexi ride my hair. <laughs> I've got family pictures coming up, so you know, we gotta get ready. Anyways, <laughs> it's another kind of highly requested video. It is something that I do often, so I decided to record it. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment, and don't forget to subscribe before. We even continue with this video. So just go on and subscribe. And then hit the little bell notification right next to it. So that you can know whenever I post videos. And yeah. My laptop's about to die. So I better shut up and let's get started. <laughs> Y'all already know what the first step is. I like to saturate my hair from root to tip with my holy grail coconut oil. Once I get that all throughout my hair, I part my hair for the first section from ear to ear right across the back. You want to make sure your hair is completely tangle free and very smooth. And <laughs> look at them inches, girl. Yes, yes. Then I go in with my second holy grail. The Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I forgot what it was. <laughs> this is the only product that I use while doing my Flexi Rod set. Next, I'm just going to make this back section into three rods. Like I said, you want this to be very smooth. So what I do is take a rod, place it on the ends of my hair and wrap it up, securing the ends. And then about an inch into the hair, I just wrap it up and then I start to wrap it around the rod, if that makes sense. <laughs> You want to make sure you twist it very tightly. Yes, it is going to hurt, but that is how you ensure that your curls are going to be tight and last longer. So here I am once again, making sure that the hair is very smooth, wrapping my ends around the bottom, going up about an inch, and then wrapping the hair around the rod. For the front section, I like to wrap it kind of going down towards my face. That way you can get like the faux bangs. Since this section is a little bit larger, I kind of stack some of them on top of each other. So I would just do the same steps and the same method, but just making it into two rather than one very big section. Yeah. 
So here I am showing you one last time, up close and personal. You wanna smooth those ends on it, wrap the ends up around itself, and then wrap the hair around the rod. Now I would just sit under a hooded dryer for a couple of hours and then take them out. When taking them down, I try to be a little gentle. I straighten the rod out completely and then just wrap it in the opposite direction that I did to put them in, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now that they are all out, I just kind of go through and stretch them like so. And then I take some oil, put them on my fingertips, and rub it through my hair. This helps prevent frizz and helps your style last longer. To take them down, I just separate them where they naturally come apart and I do very small sections when separating because that makes you get bigger hair and you guys know I love some big hair. So this just shows really how much I separate. And this process is about 30 minutes long. Another tip to help reduce frizz is wrapping the strands around your finger and that way it smooths it out. And when that's finally done, you move on to your edges. I've had a couple of people ask me what brush I use. I use this really small mini brush that I recently picked up from a local beauty supply store. And yeah, it's pretty convenient. I cannot do a toothbrush. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> Like, dang, yeah, the bag is cute. The bag is cute. The bag is cute. Let's go. So after fluffing and picking your hair out, you just kind of play with it. And yeah, this is the final result.
Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.